Hi everyone, I'm Chen. I will presenting our work Mimic Play, Long Horizon Imitation Learning by Watching Human Play. There are many long horizon tasks in our daily activities. For example, when we make a sandwich, we slice the tomato, toast the bread, fry an egg, and serve them in a plate. It seems quite natural to us, but it's still quite challenging for today's robots. So how to teach real-world robots to perform long horizon tasks? We can use task and motion planning, which has shown effective results in generating task agnostic long horizon motion. However, because it requires a predefined planning domain, it is often inflexible when applied to a new real world setups. In recent years, we have seen planning with large language model, which shows flexibility for novel tasks and scenes, but require additional work on grounding and predefined low level motion primitives. So, what makes a long horizon task hard? Just as this video shows, to achieve the long-term goal of pushing the ball into the hole, the cat is performing a real-time planning and control to continuously adjust the direction of a ball movement. When unexpected situation happens, the cat also quickly reacts and replan to solve the task. Seems like these two factors are important for long horizon manipulation. Can robot have similar capability for long horizon manipulation? If so, what kind of data should we use to achieve that? When considering the data, we ideally want the data that is low cost and aligned with the robot domain. A commonly used data source is robot demonstration. While it offers high quality data without domain gap, it's expensive and time consuming to collect, especially for long horizon tasks. We could also use human video from the internet, which is cheap. But there is a significant domain gap, especially considering most of these videos are 2D data, while robots rely heavily on 3D information. So, is there a type of data that is more close to the sweet spot of this plot? In this work, we introduce a new type of data, named human play data, which is a type of 3D human hand motion capture data where the subject freely interacts with the scene without a specific task goal. Here we visualize the 3D hand trajectories by projected to the video frames. These trajectories are acquired with a stereo camera and an existing hand detection approach. There are two key features of human play data. Firstly, it offers rich 3D trajectory level plans, indicating where and how to interact in the 3D environment. Secondly, since it is play data without specific goals, it covers diverse task compositions. When comparing human play data to traditional robot teleoperation data, human play data is much faster to collect, allowing us to gather large data in a short time. Considering a traditional visual motor policy that try to map high dimensional inputs to low level robot actions, although human play data cannot train the policy end to end, it enables the robot to first map the inputs to 3D trajectory level plans, which is a step usually considered as data intensive. With a low dimensional plan in place, mapping these plans to robot action become much more efficient, so that we only need a small amount of robot data to bridge the gap. Based on this hypothesis, we propose Mimic Play, a hierarchical imitation learning framework comprising a high-level planner learned from easy-to-collect human play data and a low-level motor controller learned from a small amount of robot data. More specifically, Given the goal image and current observation, the high-level planner is trained it using an encoder-decoder framework to reconstruct the 3D trajectory of a human hand. To handle the multimodality of the human motion, we use a Gaussian mixture model-based decoder network to reconstruct the trajectory. To bridge the visual gap between human and robot, we also implement a KL loss over the encoder feature embedding during the training process. After training the high-level planner with human play data, we freeze the weights. We then use a small amount of robot data as input to generate the latent plans, and further train a low-level controller to generate the final robot action conditioned on the plans. The reason we use latent feature instead of decoded trajectory is because we empirically find that the trajectory will abstract away the fine-grained details of the observation. Here we showcase some results after employing Mimic Play for long horizon manipulation learning. All tasks presented here were learned with 20 minutes of data, including 10 minutes of human play and 10 minutes of robot teleoperation. 
The learn policy is able to achieve a real-time 17 Hz inference speed for both planning and low-level control. In the corner, we visualize the generated latent plan, where we project the decoded 3D trajectory onto the current observation image. The robot is able to replan after the human disturbance and continue to complete the long horizon task goal. Here is another task where the robot requires more contact-rich box opening motion. After human disturbance, we can see the trajectory plan quickly adjust its previous goal and guide the robot to reopen the box. In some of the tasks, we also include large spatial changes over the objects, which highlights the importance of having a real-time planner that could quickly react to the new situations. Just as this example shows, the robot quickly replanned to the new location of the rows and inserted into the vase that has also been moved. We evaluate our approach with 14 real-world long horizon tasks across six environments. We found Mimic Play achieved the best sample efficiency in short horizon setup. When we start testing on longer horizon tasks, the advantage becomes larger. And when we decrease the training data by half to only 20 minutes, Mimic Play is still able to retain above 50% success rate. We also test whether the learned high-level planner is indeed task agnostic and can work on diverse task composition. Given an initial state and goal image, the robot can generate corresponding action to reach the goal, including opening the box, turning off the lamp, and picking up a pen and finally place it in the box. Here are another three examples of using the same model but with a different task goal image conditioning. Our robot is able to generalize to unseen task composition. Since the high-level planner is learned with human play data, which allow us to prompt a robot manipulation directly from one-shot human motion video. Here is a no-cut video result where in each round the human demonstrate the task. We then record the human video and sample the goal image from this video. We then send these goal images into the Mimic Play framework and let the high-level planner to generate the latent plan to guide the robot to reproduce the human motion. We found such prompting with human motion retains competitive performance as prompting with the Oracle robot videos. We believe this could be an interesting interface in the future for prompting the robot motion. There are several limitations of Mimic Play, including the required third view camera system and room to improve over the cross embodiment learning algorithm. We are more than happy to see amazing works from this community that provide promising approach towards these limitations. Please check them out. In summary, in this work, we introduce a new type of data, human play data, a hierarchical policy that enables real-time planning and control. Our framework is able to prompt in long horizon robot manipulation directly from human motion video. To know more, feel free to check out our release code. Thank you.